after your muffin killing because it was a bit soft enough. Guys, sorry to interrupt you. The link, where will I find the link? Oh, it's going to be sent out, is it? No, uh, are you back up? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, I, we're going to send it into the other side. Yeah, no, Tony was going to start today, but I was just wondering in fairness. Just in case, he's, Tony, he's busy. That's some, exactly, some that's back it. Back to Twitter, back to Facebook. Back to Twitter or back, back to, to Facebook. Back to Facebook or back to LinkedIn. Any of those that's there now. Okay, perfect. That's good. That's good. No, no, you're grand. Look like it. We mentioned it as well if you want. Oh, no, no. <laughs> 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 I'm going to win. Get a very late one in. Yeah. <laughs> and we're available yeah. for interviews at the end. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a 10 second uh, delay as well. So it's a good replay for all our tries. <laughs> yeah. Hello everybody, good afternoon to this 
Live Bechtel of Rangers TV broadcast from a bright and sunny home Patrick, home of Skerry's RFC in North County Dublin. Broadcasting live today for this Leinster under 17's Division 1A league final between Bechtel of Rangers and Ashburn. As I said, nice day, sun is shining, there is a wind, it's 10 to 15 knots, it's blowing from left to right as you're watching on your screen. The Bechtel team today, stars of the future. See the team graphic is still doing a 1 to 22. I'm old fashioned, I'm going to do it backwards because it's my party. 15, Hugh MacDonald, three quarters, Colin Lydon, Derek Keane, Daniel McDade, and Max Sheridan. The halfbacks, David Byrne and Louis O'Brien. Front row, Russell Sullivan, Luke Lockery, Harry Donahue. Second row, Johnny Donahue, no relation, just happen to have the same name. They both happen to be in Blackrock as well. Number five, Ross Gargan. And the back row, all from St. Michael's. Number six, Neil Ryan. Number seven, Tom Reynolds. And captain and number eight, Keen Walsh. On the bench as well for Bechtel today, we have 16, Andrew Riley, 17, James Green, 18, Ben Stewart, 19, Jack Nugent, 20, Simon O'Kane, 21, Joshua Carroll, and 22, David Quinn. So a league final, Division 1A league final. The league ended up with Coolmine in first place on 18 points, Bechtel second in the league on 17, Clontarf third on 11, Ashburn fourth on nine. Top four go into a playoff. Coolmine beat Ashburn. Uh, and Bechtel beat Clontar 15-7. However, Ashburn then launched an objection to Coolmine fielding ineligible players, which was upheld by the branch. Coolmine are out, and Bechtel are now facing Ashburn in the final. Okay, guys, one minute. One minute to go. Joined today on the bank. Nice bank, nice facilities out here in Scarry. This is a great new 4G pitch. Joined by the inimitable Wiwa, Moelisa Wiwa Power. Taking a big risk getting him back again. He's had more retirements than a retirement home. But anyway, look, we're stuck for numbers, so we've got him back. Wiwa, welcome back. Chuck, delighted to be here. Perfect day, beautiful conditions, sun is shining. There, we don't have the usual wind that you have normally here. But really looking forward to this game and, you know, great testament to the coaches and everything, getting the team to this final and giving them all the support that they've got. And let's hope for a good result, Chuck. Very good. I assume this team has done so well this year, we all, because your hands have been nowhere near them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit of a fall down there, Chuck. I don't want to have to push you yet. I'll hold the mic when you're falling. Mention of the coaching team, so the the kind of backroom coaching team, Kieran Walshy Walsh is coaching along with Tony O'Brien. They're assisted oh, by Rudolph O'Kane and Frank Carr. And also two of Tony's kids who are ex Bechtel Rangers, ex Minis, uh, Charlie and Ernie O'Brien. They're also helping out along with Dave O'Loughlin. So our referee this afternoon is Paul Sadlier. Interesting twist this afternoon, folks, right? Those of you who will have tuned into Bechtel TV over the last couple of seasons will know we're a bit tongue-in-cheek in style. We're certainly not <laughs> Ryle Nugent and Bernard Jackman. We don't take ourselves that seriously. We have a bit of fun here. So there's no offence meant to anybody, but there will be a bit of slagging. But to start this game off, Ashburn have no numbers on their jerseys. Like, seriously, lads? So that's just commentator's nightmare. You can forget about it. I have their team sheet, but I've no way of knowing who is what on that team. So it's going to be interesting. So, Keem Walsh, captain, straight into the game. Harry Donahue. Dave Byrne, good long clearance with the left foot. Taken by the winger from Cool Mine. No idea what his name is, no number. Forward pass. First scrum of the match.
So the back to pack. Front row, Ross O'Sullivan, Michaels, Luke Lockery also out of St. Michaels, and Harry Dunne, who's out of Black Rock. Second row in the pack, Johnny Dunne, who out of Black Rock, Ross Gargan from Gonzaga. And we have an old St. Michaels back row, six, Neil Ryan, seven, Tom Reynolds, and number eight in captain, Keen Walsh. Halfback feeding for Bechtoff, young Louis O'Brien. His dad Tony is the coach of the team. Louis does have an injury. He did a fitness test just before kickoff and passed that. So we'll hope young Louis lasts the whole game. Free kick to Ashburn. All away by Ashburn, they're going to have a run at the back, a couple of spits passes, he's got pace, this boy's up to the 22, kick ahead, probably gone too far over the dead ball of the B, referee's actually bringing them back. What was that late I didn't see it. We don't have the benefit, folks, of action replay or even any screen here, so we've got to see it as it happens. Must have been a late hit because he's given the penalty where the ball landed. So there's a good opportunity now for Ashburn. High tackle, high Five tackle. metres out, they're going to tap and go. Over the line. Ball recycled, held back. It's robbed by Bechtoff by the look of it. Indeed, it is robbed by Bechtoff. Too close to the line to kick, they're going to have to truck it up a couple, give David Burns some space to make the clearance kick. Great ground made by well Beckham. done, Harry Donahue. Now, better position for an exit, here we go, David Byrne, left boot, ball is blocked down, it's anybody's ball, you're all onside. Half back for Ashburn, that was a high tackle. Indeed it was. Unfortunate there, Chuck, because the little fellow was falling uh, as the tackle went in. And uh, so it's a penalty in front of the posts and Ashburn are indicating to go for points. So three minutes in, Ashburn get a chance to open the scoring. Here are the seagulls in the background. They're making more sense than you do, Weaver. <laughs> If anyone hears a thud, it might be Chuck falling down the embankment. Good kick, fly half Shane Andrews for Ashburn. Gets Ashburn. On the board, scored us 3 0. We're four minutes in. Come on, back there. So, David Byrne, high hanging restart, well taken by Ashburn. Effective eventually get him down. Kick is blocked down again, blocked down by number 12, Daniel McDade. Where's the bouncing? Into the hooker, Luke Lockery, that was a high tackle from behind. Ref is leaving, oh, he's got an advantage. Free play now, we're up to the five metre line. Quick ball, quick ball, quick ball, quick ball. Here we go, quick ball, number four, Johnny Donahue. Okay, no advantage, brings us back for the penalty. He did see it for the high tackle. So both fly halves have had clearance kicks blocked down already. Good excitement, if nothing else. So David Byrne, talking heads. 
stop making sense, gets a nice nudge up five metres out. The Talking Heads references for the oldies. Ask your mum and dad, they'll get it. Stop making sense. So, six man called by Bechtoff. Lockery with the throw. Well taken by seven, Tom Reynolds. Drive is on. Going sideways a bit. Okay, it's on the ground. It's a rook. It's a rook, ref. No, give it. It's a rook. Turnover ball. Good defense by Ashburn. We, need, we needed to get that to the back of the back of the um, the ball there, Chuck. And unfortunately, he, he got um, encompassed by a few Ashburn players. wasn't able to get the ball back. Encompassed, folks. That's a good Jesuit education word. Encompassed. So, third scrum of the game to Ashburn, seven metres off their own line. They'll be looking to exit here. Left footer, so he'll probably kick left to the far side of the pitch. Indeed he does. It's a good relieving kick by Ashburn. On the 22. We're still here, Chuck, we're still here. Bechtoff line out, just inside the Ashburn 22. Good position to set up another attack. Short line out called by Bechtoff again. Taken in the middle. Break off by Kim Walsh off the back. It's through the first line. On, He's up Kim. seven metres out. Good burst. Quick ball now, lads. Quick ball. Here we go. Quick ball out to the forward. Seven. Tom Reynolds. Quick ball again. Penalty against Bechtoff. Sealing off number one, Russell Sullivan. Be it harsh. As I said, we don't have action replay to see it again. Put on first view. Be it harsh. <laughs> we'll we're, we're make up for <laughs> it's a good relieving kick by fly half Shane Andrews again it's only when they go into their preferred positions that I can actually recognise the Ashburn guys no numbers it's not under 12s lads you're under 17s you're playing big boy stuff now how does a referee call people in rooks if there's no number must be very difficult Slap down in the middle on tidy ball, but well played by the halfback. Tidy it up. Rumble by Ashburn. That's good rumble by Ashburn. It's a good break by the fly half through the first line. He's offloaded it inside. This guy's fell. Oh, he's lost the ball. Forward in the tackle. Free play. Fullback Hugh McDonald. Nice kick, there's no one home there. Bounce, 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 get bounce, it, bounce, it, bounce. Get it, get it. That'll do, that'll do. Oh, Excellent recovery. 15, Hugh McDonald, and it's a 50 22. It's going to be Bechtov's line out. Great kick. That's good play. Excellent play there. It looked like they were through, and then we managed to dislodge the ball from, uh, from the Ashburn speedy winger. speedy winger. And look where we are now, Chuck. Back into attacking position. Okay, he's not giving the 50-22. It's Ashburn's throw just, on, just the on the line. Well taken by them in the middle, but again the halfback gets scragged. <laughs> Offside by Bechtoff. We don't have a ref mic, but today we don't need it. I could hear him from here. You were 
It's the high most foot of the offside line. That's three penalties now in short succession against Bechtif in the red zone. Discipline's going to be important, guys. You need to stop giving them cheap outs. Well taken at the back by Ashburn, that's a tidier ball. Little break again, show and go by 10, Shane Andrews. Okay, we've lost the ref lads, need to sort that out. Keane needs to talk to him and just try and get in his good side. Again, we weren't behind the hindmost foot. It's important to play the ref and work the ref here. It's four penalties, lads. We're only 11 minutes in. To be fair to ref Paul Sadler, he's given them clear instruction. I have my hand in the air, you can't approach. Wait till I drop my hand, it means the line out has moved off the mark. Slap back at the front. Great pass by the halfback. Out of the big boys in the middle again. He's through the first line. Tries to offload. Good tackle by Keem Walsh. They go again. Good continuity play. That's a great tackle because they had numbers out there on the left. Change of point of attack. Back out of the big boys again. Halfback decides to go down the short side. They do have numbers. They do have numbers. He's up to the 22. That's a good tackle, Hugh McDonnell. He does offload the ball. That's a fantastic Great tackle, nice fullback Hugh McDonnell. Here's a Gonzaga boy. He's been with us, been with Bechtif since Bechtif Minis in under sixes. He started for, he came, he, he trained with us last year in the 18s and the halves. A fine player. He seems to have got better since he left you, Weebo. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Soppy ball turned over, Ashburn win the line out. His danger here, as George Hamilton would say, he's up to the five metre mark. They've got options both sides now. Slower ball does give us a chance to set the defence. You need to hold them out here now. Halfback goes left. Make your tackles, make your tackles, make your tackles. Good tackle. Still on the five metre line, going to come out open. Big carry, but driven back again. Good defence by Bechtif. Number five, Ross Gargan there. Knocked on. Here's a chance, opportunity. Turnover ball. You free shot now, lads. Offside, lazy runner. Very well done by Louis there. Very well done. Saw the guy. Did he buy the half? Did the halfback buy the penalty? <laughs> yes, exactly. First thing you learn in halfback school, be a mouthy little git. Second thing, buy penalties by throwing the ball to lazy runners. His dad has trained him well. Good clearance kick by Dave Byrne. Good clearance brick. Midway between the 10 metre and the halfway line. We're joined here by our erstwhile president, Mick Shalou. Mick, thanks for coming out. Absolute pleasure. Great day out here in Scurries. Just hope we get to win. Yeah. Um, it was a mixed start. We'll see. Long way to go. Well taken. Ross Gargan in the line out. Here's Keem Walsh. Good offload. Good offload. Well done, Neil Ryan. Okay, at least he's been consistent. Referee, I have to say it, being consistent. No, no, no. Go for corner, corner, corner. Okay, decision time. Corner. Take a shot. He's going for the corner. Not quite in the corner, but it'll do just shy of the 22 metre line. 15 minutes gone, Chuck. 15 minutes, 3 0 yeah. to 35 Ashburn. and a half, don't forget. Correct, 35 minutes under age rugby. Almost halfway through, the, almost the first quarter.
throw to the back, well taken by seven, Tom Reynolds. At the centre, Keen Walsh. Go on, Keen. Go on, Keen. Keep going. Stay up. Go on. Brilliant. He's up to the 22. Now, quick ball, quick ball, quick ball. Down the short side, David Byrne. Oh, yes, he has. He's released it beautifully. Max Sheridan, five metres out. Quick ball now. Recycle, recycle. Harry Donahue has a go. He's driven back in the tackles. Back to Hugh. He's very close. Go to ground, go to ground. Pick and go again by the forwards. Look like the rover. They look like the rover. Can't see, can't see. Don't get held up now, lads. We still have the penalty advantage. No decision by the ref. He's calling held, held up. Penalty advantage. He's going back. That's three penalties in succession against Ashburn. Tap and go by Beckdorf. Penalty against, holding on. Okay, good idea by Kim Walsh. There is a problem when you tap and go that you can get isolated if you don't have two support guys with you. Penalty, Ashburn. That's five penalties against Beckdorf this half. Three of those penalties have been when we're in the red zone, so just need to keep your composure, lads. Keep your composure. Stop giving them easy outs. Good touch finder by Andrus. Brings the ball up to the 10 metre line. Great catch on the sideline there by Mr. former Mr. president and Johnny gives away. All round good back to Ranger, Johnny Vaughan. Johnny, come to the opening of an envelope. Good man. Five man called by Ashburn. Stolen by Bechtov in the middle. Neil Ryan, loose pass. Tidied up by fly half David Byrne. Here we go now, Ross O'Sullivan. Bit of a unit. Well, Bill, stay up. Okay. Quick ball, Louis. Quick ball, quick ball, quick ball. Here we go. Dave Byrne. Out to seven. Tom Reynolds. Quick ball again. That's what you wanted. Little snipe and go by Louis O'Brien. Another penalty. Another penalty. Another penalty. Six against us, three against them. So you're talking nine penalties in 18 minutes. I can't criticise Paul Sadlier, but really? Penalty every two minutes? <laughs> In from the side, I just okay. heard the ref sound. Yeah. It was good to see Keen up talking with him now, try and build a relationship with this ref. It's a great touch finder. That's a great touch finder. Fly half Shane Andrews. It's good left boot on him. Brings the ball just up to the back of 22. I'd like to give a shout out to Liam Casey. Liam coached these kids over the years with Kieran, Tony, Frank, and Rudolph. Liam's getting back to full fitness and we wish him the very best. We, he actually may be even in the crowd today as he follows his team whenever he can. Good man, Liam Casey. So Ashburn going backwards from the lineup, but they do have the possession. It's a good rumble, it's a good rumble. Has he lost it? He has lost it. They've got it back though. Little dinky kick over, that is a good kick, where's it going to bounce, where's it going to bounce? It's bounced into an Ashburn hands, he's offloaded it inside, it's a try. It's a well worked try. Kick pass by the fly half out to the winger, they had a two on one. Winger caught it, straight offload back inside to his teammate. Try for Ashburn. 20 minutes in, score is now Ashburn, eight. Back to nil.
struck that very well he struck that well straight through the six that's a fantastic kick number 10 Shane Andrews for Ashburn wide on the left he's a left footed kicker so it was the wrong side another two points on the board 21 minutes in back to zero Ashburn 10 David Byrne with the high hanging restart. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Well taken by Ashburn. That's a knock on. Indeed it is. Okay. Chance for Bechtif. Secures this possession. Let's try and launch a star to play. Been up in the red zone. We've given away three penalties. Easy out to Ashburn. So just keep your composure. Teacup, as Sir Clive used to say, Sir Clive, teacup, thinking clearly under pressure. Kim Walsh takes it at the back, has a go himself, going down the number 10 channel, just goes straight through him, good break in, just shy of the 22. Quick ball, scrum half is scragged, takes it back, changes the point of attack. Ross O'Sullivan takes it forward, he does well, he's up to the 22. Recycle again, long floating ball out to Max Sheridan on the wing. Cuts back inside, just wants a hold on possession, Get some support. Five, Ross Gargan. Oh sweet Jesus. another penalty there's a lot of whistling going on here today folks it's like a bloody 80s rave down in the point depot with all the whistles We need to fix that in from the side, Chuck. That's where we've, been. we've had a, quite a few penalties on that. Hopefully the team, the coaching team, will have a word and fix that for the second. Good clearance kick again by Andrews. Brings the ball just shy of the back to the 10-metre line. Calm down now, lads. Go through the phases. Hold on to possession. Stop leaking up penalties. Four-man called by Ashburn. Ashburn throw long, it's gone over the back, it was crooked in, it's dead in line with us where we're standing here, it was crooked in, well taken, recovered by halfback Zach Dennehy, but it's crooked, it's a scrum to Bechtif. 24 minutes gone, score remains back to zero, Ashburn 10. Ball at the back, we're going out the backs this time. Skip pass, straight out to 13, Dara Keane. Gets the ball, offloads it. Hugh McDonnell. Good continuity by Bechtif. The forward pass, it's good effort, good play. Good play by both Dara Keane and Hugh McDonnell. Just final pass went to ground. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Great story about Dara Keane. Dara's in his first year. Bechtif Junior, Bechtif Minis. He used to be with Belvo, his brother Matt is on the under 13s, but Dara's on a TY semester placement at the moment in a school in France. Dara got up yesterday and got an Uber from his school to Nantes Airport, then got a Ryanair flight home just to be able to play this match today. And he's flying back home tonight to France. That's dedication. Good man, Dara from Gonzaga College. Assuming, of course, that the bank of mum and dad bankrolled this whole trip, so well done the parents too. Good nudge. Got a penalty. Midway between the 22 and the try line. Another chance, lads. Do not give away an easy penalty. Oh. 
important now. We're 26, just coming up to 26 minutes in. Get some points on the board. Thrown to the middle, we lose it. It was knocked on, so it's going to be a scrum. Two knock-ons. He's given the scrum to Bactif. So, Keane has taken the ball from the back of the scrum a number of occasions and made 10 metres. You wonder, is that in his thought process? Is that going through his head now? He's about 15 metres out. No, leaves a go at the backs. David Byrne, long floating pass out to Dara Keane again. Quick ball now, quick ball, keep going left. Ball through the hands. Oh, first knock on by Ashburn. It was an intercept. Play the advantage, play the advantage, play the advantage. No, advantage. First knock on was by Ashburn in the intercept. Okay, man down. 27 minutes in. Will be a back to scrum. Like to shout out to the evergreen Paul Hatton, who's taken the under 11s on tour this weekend. They're out in San Roque in northern Spain, teaming up with an old back to ranger. Trying to remember his name, and I can't, but the minis, the under 11s, they're out in Spain under the guidance of Paul Hatton. Is that good to say? Under Tiernock. Tiernock. Oh, Tiernock Donnelly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Paul is out there. Hopefully his head is not getting too burnt and that he's, he's got a nice Bechtov cap on. Paul, hope, hope you, the tour's going well and a good sh big shout out to all the little mini rangers. Hope you're having a great time. You got the pictures last night, Tim. So, another attacking platform for Bechtov for 28 minutes in. Burn. Good cutback by Daniel McDade. Ashburn over the top on that rock. Ashburn, ah, oh, stop, he's gone the other way. Very frustrating, very frustrating. It's very little continuity to this game, you know. He's refing to the letter of the law, which you can't argue with, but sometimes it's best to have a little bit of feel and just let them play and let some marginal decisions go for a bit of continuity. Another relieving kick by Andrews. Four man called by Ashburn. Goes <laughs> 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 in the opposite direction. <laughs> Ashburn go long over the top. Well cleared up by Bechtiff. Here O'Brien out to Keane Walsh. Run straight, Keane. Go on. Good tackle. Bechtiff still have the ball. Quick ball now, quick ball. David Byrne. Ross Gargan, good rumble. They're offside, they're all offside. They're all offside now. Bechtiff through the hands again. Ross O'Sullivan. They're offside now. Offside again. Luke Lockery. It's up just shy of the 22. It's recycle, go through the faces, stay calm. You can't play the ball on the ground, son. Can't do that. Can't do that. Decision time now. Posts get us on the scoreboard or in the corner. I'm old school, I prefer the posts. Okay, indeed okay, it is. We're going the for the posts. The okay. The, the wind has died down, Chuck, as well, so it's not really having any major effect. It's a very calm day up in Scaries, which you don't often get. So, young David Byrne, number 10, 
living in Kilmacud up beside me. Goes to Blackrock College. And he's also in his first year with Bechtoff. Great to see so many people in first year. David also plays up at Croaks, where his dad Martin is a well-known Croaks stalwart. Beautiful kick. Beautiful kick. 31 minutes on. Bechtoff are now on the board. Score is Bechtoff 3, Ashburn 10. Now that's another score before half time. We're about three and a half minutes to half time with whatever the ref is adding on. <laughs> Any more points this side of half time be excellent. Long restart. Well taken by Lucid Ross O'Sullivan. Taken back in so we can't kick direct to touch. That's fine, that's Little fine. kick that's pass out here to Max Sheridan. He oh takes it, he takes it. Offload, 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 he does offload. Look for support. Well tidied up, Daniel McDade. Over the top. Yeah, thank you. Penalty back to. Again, he's calling in from the side. He's consistent, consistent. Nudge up the line by David Byrne, brings the ball up to the halfway. We've got two and a half minutes left to half time officially. One score a game, back to three, Ashburn 10. Come on, back to. Okay, five man call by Bechtoff. Well taken in the middle. His path was blocked. Good break by Louis O'Brien. Clever rugby. There's nowhere for him to pass. Here we go, penalty now. Whose penalty is the pot's going on now? Penalty Bechtoff. Take the kick. Take the kick, lads. Into the take the kick. Take the kick. Two minutes to go. Once the rugby lads, 369, scoreboard pressure. No, okay, they're going to back themselves. It's an excellent nudge, Dave Byrne. Excellent nudge. Okay, we're midway between the 22 and the try line. We have one and a half minutes left on the official clock. Whatever else the ref, Paul Sadler, is adding on when he stopped it. Six man called by Bechtoff. Kim Walsh in the half back receiver position. A lot of animation, but nobody actually went up for that, lads. It's a bit disappointing because Ashburn an easy out. Big unit, he's through the first line of defence. Faced with you. Oh, what a tackle! What a tackle! That's it. This recording is over. We're going home. That's how you tackle. Good luck and thanks. Excellent work, Hugh McDonald. Last line of defence. If he missed that, they were under the sticks. That is superb play. Back to breakthrough. They're in touch. Listen, I didn't see what happened. I'm just trying to replay in my head. That was the tackle of the season from Hugh MacDonald at fullback. Best Excellent tackle play. Ever. Best tackle. Hugh's out of Gonzaga. Interesting or not, in fact, Hugh also plays piano. From jazz to Beethoven. That's an eclectic mix, young Hugo. And he can sing as well. Well, he should be singing in the sheriffs tonight about that tackle. That was an unbelievable tackle. Okay, so we're into whatever stoppage time the ref is adding on. Ashburn again tried the crash ball up the centre. Big units again just rumble it up. They're up just shy of their 10 metre line. Now they'll kick to exit. Indeed they do. Long left boot. Colin Lydon, excellent positioning. Takes the ball back, have a run, go on. Slower ball this time for Bechtoff. So we'll kick. 
We kick long deep into the 22. Someone well received by Ashburn. He's going to have a run this lad. Excellent tackle, number seven, Tom Reynolds. Ball is broken loose, back to recover it. Not sure what's happening now. What's happening now? What's he blowing it up for? Half time. Half time. Okay, there you have it, folks. Just one minute of at a time. Score at half time is Bechtov 3, Ashburn 10. Bechtov have own possession, they've done very well. We just need to be a little more clinical when we get into the red zone. We've got a, a, a referee who's not doing anything wrong, he's whistling to the letter of the law, but the penalty count is huge. Eight against Bechtov, seven against Ashburn in the first half alone. So they need to be wise to the ref. <laughs> They need to work the ref. Nearly all the penalties he's giving for are in from the side at the breakdown. That's easily fixable. So we're doing well. I mean, this is a team that only came together late September, early October. They're representing their Bechtel family and they're representing them with pride today. And they're doing well. It's a one-score score game. Bechtel 3, Ashburn 10. We're going to take a smoke break back in five minutes, folks. <laughs> So the coaching team behind this, back to under 17s, we've got Kieran Walchy Walsh, who's head coach. Kieran, as you know, played played first, seconds, and thirds in back to 10 year career from the mid 90s to the mid noughties. He also has two other kids in back to Jamie and Jack, both minis. Jamie's now on the Michaels SCT squad as well. Walchy, of course, is Kean, our captain's dad. And mum Trina is the Bechtov admin as well for the under 13s and under 17s. She's here today. Also coaching with Walchie. Tony O'Brien, he's been oh, 13 years, 2008 he started coaching in Bechtov. Took a break through COVID and now he's back. He's done a number of previous age groups. He coached a born in 2003 age group alongside Gubby Power and Dara O'Neill. And then he also coached a 2005 group with Emmett Sheridan, the late Dave Walsh and the inimitable Wee Wall Power. Tony's got three kids come through Bechtiff. Louis, who's playing halfback for us today. Charlie and Ernie, who both held out when the time permits. Ernie, you may remember, was captain of our 18.5 cup winning team last year. And then the other guys helping out, we've got Rudolf O'Kane. Son Simon is in the squad. We've got Frank Carr. His sons Jack and Jamie are on the team. Dave O'Loughlin as well. Just when we're talking of Kieran Walshy Walsh, with all his kids in Bechtiff. Team Walsh's twin Tara 
was also a feared Beckett Mini back in the day. We always tell me coming out of the car she was the best player in her age group. Okay, here we go. Second half about to start. Beckett 3, Ashburn 10, 35 minutes. Death or glory. It's a better, that's a good long relieving kick. Good long relieving kick. Taken by Hugh McDonald. He's got good pace. He threw his over the 10 yard line. It's a good burst. That's a good recovery by Hugh. Penalty to Bechtoff. Not sure what that was for. It's hard to see, it's right over the far side. No, it's like it's an Ashburn down. down. We've also been joined up here on the bank by another Shalu. We spoke with Captor, with President Mick earlier on. We're now joined by Brian. There's a murder of Shalus, like a murder of crows forming over here in the ditch. Welcome, Brian. Your thoughts so Thank far? Thank you very much, Chuck. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a tight one. Back to uh, obviously giving away too many penalties in the first half, but it's eight penalties to Back to seven penalties to Ashburn. But uh, they're looking good. 7 3. 10 3. 10 3. 10 -3. 3. One, one point game. One point game. One score again. Okay. Long hold up here. Um, I'm just looking at the results. Back to in the league. Back in December, we beat Barnhall, one score game. We beat Ashburn, one point game. Then came back in January, we beat Clontarf, one score game. And in February, we lost to Cool Mine, one score game. In the final game of the league proper, beat Malahide. And then in the semi final, we beat Clontarf 15-7 to reach this stage. So there's an edge to this team, guys. I mean, they're all tight scores. All bar one was a one-score game. But, you know, just looking at the stats, not knowing these guys too well, appears there is an edge to a team and they know how to dig it out when needed. So penalty to Bechtoff. Okay, restart. David Byrne, Mr. Talking Heads, is going to nudge up into the corner, see if we can win our right line out and mull them over the line. Excellent nudge. Good attacking platform now, Chuck. Okay, here we go. We're about seven metres out. Good back to Six man call by Bechtoff with Keane in the first receiver of the half back position. We going to mull them over. Well taken in the middle by seven. Tom Reynolds, the drive is on. Drive is on. They've got good momentum. They're up to three meters, two meters, one meter. Ashburn drive it back. Ashburn has stolen the ball. Not sure from this position how that happened. Another let off. There's a good poach. There's a good poach. Well Ross well O'Sullivan, well, well, well done. Back to yeah. turn it over. Okay, set it up, go through the phases. Space is out wide here. Got Colin Lydon out in the wing, no one near him. However, they truck it up again. Five metres out. You can't hit the halfback like that. You can't play the halfback like yellow. that. Yeah, it should be yellow. Here we go, another penalty to Beckett. We're going to tip and go. We're going to tip and go. Call comes from the sideline. Indeed we are. We're going to tip and go. Okay. 
Ball with seven, Tom Reynolds. Good tackle, but he makes it up. He's about two metres out. Long pass out to the wing. Cuts inside. He's over. He's not over. He is. He's not. He's not. Okay, recycle it. Now we got to go. Let's go, guys. Out, out, out. Let's get the ball out. Miles away from us. Really hard to see what's happening that far away. Try for Bechtel. Excellent. Excellent. Well done. Last man up. Number one, Ross O'Sullivan. So we're going to give it to him. Unless we can see otherwise, we're going to give it to Ross O'Sullivan. Good work by Bechtel. First time in the Ashburn Red Zone in the second half. And this time they come away with the try. Great work. Yeah, fantastic try by Bechtel. Tough kick here now to get us back to uh, even all square. Um, David Byrne taking the conversion. Conditions are perfect. Let's hope he can get it. Struck it well, does it have the legs, does it have the legs, does it have, unfortunate, okay. Wrong side for a left footer, just shy. Okay, so we're six minutes in, scores back to eight, Ashburn 10, game on. Interesting fact about this team, folks, seven of them are playing GAA for Kilmacud Croke, seven of them. That shows that crossover sport works, in my opinion. Rugby in the winter, Gaelic in the summer. Skills are intermingled. Okay, here we go. It's good work. Just hold on to your possession. Look to high tackle. Marginal, to be fair. Okay, exit strategy here. Ball back with five half. David Byrne. Low raking kick. It's over his head. That's an excellent kick. Excellent kick. Excellent kick. Brings the ball just inside the halfway line. Just as I was talking about seven of the squad playing up in Croaks, which is a fantastic GAA club, I know it. My nephews and nieces are up there. We've also got we've got a great mixture of different schools where this squad is coming from. We've got ten from St. Michael, seven from Black Rock, five from Gonzaga, two from St. Andrews. I tell you folks, diversity is our strength. Ashburn on the rumble. Now they were straight in from the side there. He's not being consistent, the ref. Rolling on the ground, penalty to Bechtoff. Sometimes I don't want to sound too cynical, but when you've got a ref who's absolutely... Oh, he's taking a quick David Byrne. Spots an opportunity. Hugh MacDonald on the burst. Little offload out the back of the hand. Excellent work. Dara Keane. He's inside the 22. Byrne looking for the pass. Ross Cargan on the break. I was corrected at half time. I had the numbers wrong on the two second rows. My apologies. Ashburn turned it over again. Clearance kick. He's going long. It's a good kick over the head of Hugh McDonald. Hugh picks it up inside the 22. He's going to have a go. He's having a second go. Offload. He has offloaded. Well played, Colin Lydon. Knocked on. Unfortunate. Knocked on. Okay. Look, as I was saying, sometimes when you have a referee who's doing nothing wrong, he's refing to the letter of the law, but if he's a bit whistle happy, sometimes you're nearly better not having the bloody ball and just waiting for the, the penalty against the team in possession. Substitution for Bechtoff, number nine, Louis O'Brien. 
did have a late fitness test just before the game. He's managed to give us a good first half. Louis now being replaced by number 19, Jack Nugent. Jack's out of Black Rock College. He used to play for Terry Neuer. Won't hold that against you, Jack. It's his first year in Bechtel. He's also playing with Crooks. And he's also a highly competitive mountain biker. Okay, here we go. Scrum right in front of us here on the line. Oh, he's not that on. He's not that on. He has. He has not that on. The murderer Shalou's prompted the referee there, and he took the bait. It was indeed a knock-on. Is it, is it two Shalou's a murder? Yeah, I, think, I think you need three for a yeah, quarter. Three, three for a, for yeah. a murder. Yeah, I mean there is seven of them. Thanks. <laughs> Where's our mascot? <laughs> we, if we count the dog, that's three. Run! <laughs> Find! Hands! Set! It's a okay. good scrum by Bechtoff. Good scrum. Little loop pass. Out to burn. He puts through the kick into the 22. Bounce, 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 bounce. Okay, tackle him, tackle him, tackle him. Okay, we didn't tackle him. They've recovered well. Burn underneath this on the halfway line, gets a second chance, low right can kick. Taken again by the fullback from Ashburn, it's good positioning by them. Now, Huge long run kick, it, run it, run it. taken by Hugh McDonald. Hugh likes to run, no, commentator skirts. Okay, taken by Ashburn. We've got nobody home down here now. Got nobody home. 14, Colin Lydon. Tackled into touch, but to be fair, well done, Colin Lydon. You were the first man back. Good tidy up. <laughs> so, time off. We've got Hugh McDonald down injured. Most of these boys as well representing us today, they all live quite close to, to Donnybrook. You know, so it's a lot of this trying to inculcate new members into our family, into our club. It is about location, location, location. And we have a superb location. We also have excellent facilities that we don't take for granted. We shouldn't take for granted. Don't think we do. The big stand, two 4G pitches, floodlights right in the city. A newly renovated clubhouse. There's a lot to like about Bechtoff and to attract these boys. Let's hope we can see them win a cup and win a medal today. Give them a good, positive experience. Trick play at the front, didn't work out. Well recovered. Ross O'Sullivan for Bechtoff. Well, good burst by Harry Donahue. Exit strategy, bit of a loose pass. Recovered well by David Byrne. Bounce, 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 bounce. Okay, on the 10 yard line. No idea this guy's name because he doesn't have a number. We'll call him Turquoise Boots. Turquoise Boots is well tackled. Another good tackle. Tom Reynolds in close there. As I said, you're better off nearly playing without the ball and waiting for the penalty. Penalty to Bechtoff. That's four against Ashburn in the second half. So David Byrne's going to have a shot. 13 minutes in. So four penalties against Ashburn in the second half, none against Bechtoff. So whatever Walsh and Tony said to them at halftime, the message seems to have got in. So David Byrne, straight in front of the sticks, guessing he's about 40 metres out. Wind has died down, so it's not going to be a factor. Oh, 
He struck it well. He's looked good shape on it. And it's over. That's a great kick, young man. That is a great kick in a final, young man. All square. Killer kick. 14 minutes in. We're all square. Back to... Sorry, we're not. Back to one point up. Back to 11. Ashburn 10. Come on, back to... Come on, back to... Well done, David Byrne. Kit Oaks lads, the left footers, they always have more skill. Always do. Restart. You can hear Kim Wall shouting for it, and he takes it, and he's through the first line. Little offload at the back of the hand. Fantastic play. Well done, back to. Hard look there, Johnny Dunne, who just tackled into touch. Great play by Keen Walsh. Keen also plays up in Croaks. He was on the St. Michael's JCT last year. Keane's a bit of a MacGyver already this season. He's played loose head, he's played back row, he's played centre and he's played wing. We're shaping up for a penalty against our receiver here. Wait and see. Okay, taken by Ashburn. Big boys again, trucking it up. He's made good gains through the first half. Looked like a knock on by the half pack. Indeed, it was. Good pressure. So we got a lip from one of the Bechter's teams. That's that's not great. Penalties reversed, let off for Ashburn. Loose kick, not as not as best, but he does find touch. More subs for Ashburn. Guy in the yellow jersey going off, being replaced by a guy in the yellow jersey, but they've no numbers, so that's, you don't make it easy for me. Get your Royal Nugent would never have to do this. Thrown long, taken by the halfback at the back. Two big lads again. Lucky this guy has been fantastic all match. Good recovering tackle by 12. Daniel McDade. Quick ball now for Ashburn. Fly half goes in. He's well tackled. A Tom Reynolds. What's happening now? Slower ball. Defence should be set. Make your tackles. Make your tackles. Ashburn recycle again. They're making inroads. They're eight metres out. They go back right again. They're looking for the two big boys who've made all the yards for them. Here he is at first. No, halfback has a snipe. Should have given it out. Choke tackle from Bechtiff. Choke tackle from Bechtiff. That's a choke tackle. Thank you, Paul. That's a choke tackle. Thank you. Bechtiff ball. Good defence. Okay, 18 minutes gone. One point lead for Bechtiff. Another good burst, pick and go from number eight position by Kim Walsh. 
poor pass, well picked up by David Byrne, clears his lines, good exit. Well stolen by Bechtov at the front, sloppy ball tidied up by lock by young Max Sheridan. Was it young Max Sheridan? It's hard to see, I'm far away and I'm an old man guys. Good rumble now, get your knee down, make it excellent. Poor pass again, did he knock that on? Did he knock that on? It's a great kick. It's a great kick, it's a great kick. Thought he knocked it on. Ref must have been unsighted. We'll take that. Yeah, on the wing on the other side, we've Max Sheridan, Max is living in Buddha Sound. He's out of Blackrock College. Max would be, would be referred to as Bechtel of Royalty. His brother Ryan was on last year's win in 18 and a half team. He's a nephew of Ross, Emma and Darrett, all of this parish. And he's the son of Justin. Good pedigree, the Sheridan Symbective. It's a very good tackle. That is a very good tackle by number two, Luke Lockery. They've lost the ball now, they've lost the ball. Seriously, mate, seriously. Oh, listen, man. Good kick by Dara Connor there from Ashburn. Brings the ball up to the back to the ten meter line. Contested and robbed by Bechtoff. Great leap by number five, Johnny Dunhu. Ball back on the Bechtoff side. Rumble forward by seven, Tom Reynolds. Good work. David Byrne, exit. Good kick, good kick. There's nobody out there. Good kick. Well recovered by the Ashburn full back. Bounces off the first Bechtoff tackler. Good play by Ashburn. Offside again, like there's a consistency, lads. We will. I know you're getting frustrated now. Don't slander anybody, but your thoughts. Uh, Chuck, I think we're kicking away the ball too much. I think what we need to do is, let's put it through. We've got some fine backs there. Let's spread it wide. Let's, let's use the pitch. Kicking possession away, we don't need to. Plenty of time left and we need to we need to keep the ball in hand. In their defence, and only to be a contrarian, of which I'm the world champion, they may be using the Sean Edwards style of defence, which is in your half, kick deep, pressurise the opposition, get them back in their half. Very difficult for them to score. I'm just trying to offer an alternative yeah, to you. No, I may no, be no. wrong. Oh, listen, uh, who am I? Who what do I know? Indeed. Okay, Ashburn on the rumble. Continue down left. Big forward gets over the 22. It's a good burst. Here's this big boy. He's given us a huge amount of trouble today. It's a good tackle. Seven. Tom Reynolds. Oh, Back to turn it over. Number two, Luke Lockery. He's on the ground, ref. Well played. Well played. Well played. Back to burn. We had numbers out there. Okay, okay. Pull back with Ashburn. Make the hits, make the hits. Loose pass, that'll help, that'll help. Good tackle, Max Sheridan. 
there was a call there for kick ahead, kick ahead, kick any head, but we're not down in my beloved Munster. We're up here. They'd never do that up here. Good tackle by Max Sheridan. And Chuck, thank God for that, that we're not down in Munster. Great play. We are 25 minutes into the second half. 10 to go. We're winning by a point. Fine line out by Bechtiff. Well done. Ball out the backs. Kean takes it on. Kean takes it on. Kean's done some great. He's got some great uh, meters today. Quick ball, long slow to pass out of Colin Lydon on the wing. Set it up, nice play. Get tag the half back again. Are you sure, ref? Really? Yeah. Okay, okay. we've recovered. Burns steps in at half back. Well played. Good offload there from four. Ross Gargan. Let's go through the motions. Go through the phases. Pick and go. Ross O'Sullivan, big unit. We have numbers out wide, we have numbers. Good hit, managed to offload the ball, so to Max Sheridan. He's got good speed, he's still going. Ball is ripped in the tackle. Good defence by Ashburn. Big long blow of the whistle, what are we having? Who's it? Anyone for the penalties? Anyone for the last of the penalties? Who are we giving it to? We'll give it to Ashburn this time. <coughs> So we're just coming up to 26 minutes gone. It's only 35 minutes a half. So nine minutes of official time left. Bechtov have a one score, one point lead. Bechtov 11, Ashburn 10. Good burst there by number one, Ross O'Sullivan. Ross has been good in it, involved in and around the rooks. If he sees a pillar of defences and there, he's going to have a go himself. Why wouldn't he? As per his dad, Ross weighs 94 kilos. Right? He's 16 years of age. Sorry, he's 15 years of age. He's 16 next month. He's been around with us since the Becht of Minis. Good succession planning. And as a front row forward, hardly surprising. He tries to model himself his favourite player being Andrew Porter. So, eight minutes to go. Taken at the back. Let's do a little kick this time. It's going, don't let it bounce, don't let it bounce, don't let it bounce, don't let it bounce, don't. That's why you don't let a rugby ball bounce. Make your tackles, make your tackles. Good tackles. They're five metres out though. Danger here. They go down the short side. They have numbers. Good tackle again. He's just shy of the line. Ball out wide to the wing. Can he make it? No. Excellent tackling by Bechtoff. Good defence. Pick and go. Ashburn screaming out wide, the space is out wide, if we, they can get the ball out to the right. They've got a four on one out wide. Pick and jam again. Good defence again, back to have held them out. They held them up, have they held them up? They, what are we having? What are we having for anyone? No, anyone, that more penalties. Jesus, what? Penalty for offside. Tip and go by Ashwin. They don't hang around. Long loop and pass out wide. It's fumbled, but it went backwards, so ball is still in play. Good tackles by Bechtov. Keep your shape now. Keep your defensive line in play. Make your tackles. McDonald into Jackal. Has he got that ball back? He hasn't blown out of it. Ball back in the Ashburn side. Out again. They'll go with these big pods. Hanging out in the centre. Good defence again now. No penalties, lads. No penalties. Pick and jam again by Ashburn. They're getting closer. They're two metres out. Long pass out. Long pass out. Try for Ashburn. Try for Ashburn. Pressure paid off. 
try for Ashburn. Five and a half. Twenty-nine minutes in, so six minutes left to go. Ashburn move into the lead, fifteen eleven, with a possible conversion to come. Here we go now, boys. Shitter bus time. Championship. You've got six or seven minutes here. Think your way and work your way back up the field. Get the wind up on the balance of play. I do think we deserve. He's pushed that. That's a let off for Bechtif. Okay, it's a four point game. We've got five minutes of official time left. Come on, Bechtiff! Let's go! Come on, Bechtiff! Five minutes left. At least. Official timekeeping here, you know. From Sky Sports. Yeah, from Sky Sports. Burn with the resource. He go with the... He does. A high-hanging contestable. That's a great kickoff. Let's see if we can get up. Knock on by Ashburn, scrum to Beckdorf, okay. A lot of referees on the sideline on here's, both sides. Here's the platform, here's the platform. Yeah, there is a lot of referees on the sideline and in the words of the famous Claw when he had a smart quip with Nigel, Nigel was given out going, there's too many refs on the pitch and Claw went, yeah, and you're not one, sir. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. So, big moment in this game now. Ball at the back. I, 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 was that for pushing in the scrum? Are we not allowed to push in the scrum now? Free kick, I have no idea what that's for. No idea. Ashburn are calling for a scrum. Slow down the clock, correct thing to do. Think clearly under pressure. Teacup. <coughs> Okay. Oh, where should where she come back from? <laughs> big scrum by Bechtiff. It is a big scrum by Bechtiff. Now He's now reversed the free kick. Now, <sighs> okay. Tap and go, tap and go. It's a free kick, it's not a penalty, you can't go to touch. Tip and go. Indeed it is. Keno takes it on his own. Well set up, we need quick ball now. Quick ball, here we go. Harry Donahue. We can't touch the scrum half ref. David Byrne goes in south, nowhere, nowhere to go. He does well, ball is ripped in the tackle. Comes back on our sides, that guy Ross O'Sullivan picks it up. Ref is calling a knock on. Okay, two minutes to go. Now, guys, we need another big scrum. All eight of you, no meerkats on the flank sticking your heads up to have a look. All eight of you, heads down, drive them off this ball. This could be our last chance. Can only go a metre and a half, Chuck. Go on, Pector! Ashburn get the ball away. They're going to have a run. Long floating pass out to the winger. He's beating the first line, he puts through a kick. Oh, you've got to run this, you've got to run, you've got to run. Taken by Hugh McDonald, five metres from his line. No other real option except a high kick. Brings it up to the halfway, it's knocked backwards, but still... Imp Whoa, that's harsh, that's harsh. That's very harsh, that went backwards. We will take that. We'll give you that one.
Coming into injury, sir. Final minute in normal time. We gotta run this man. Okay. Going at the line. Little show and go by Dara Keane. He's up to halfway, still going. Good boy, Dara. Well done. Hands all over the ball there, ref. However, we get it back. Bit of a loose pass. So we're in injury time, it's a one score game, but drop kick or penalty, no good to us. Ashburn leading by four in the half possession with a scrum just inside the halfway line. Last chance saloon now, boys. What can you come up with? They've taken it against the head. Here we go. Keane Walsh off the back. Ball outside to Dara Keane. Gets on the ground, so it's a rook, hands off. Okay, forward pod. Penalty back to. Don't tap and go. Kick to the corner. Get your set piece. Kick to the corner. We need a try. Cool heads now, boys. Think clearly under pressure. Just yeah. we'll be over once we score and be done. Yeah. We'll be time. We're in injury time anyway. Yeah. 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 Two minutes, he said. Ref is called two minutes, so plenty of time. It's a great nudge. David Byrne brings the ball up just inside the 22. Great nudge. Active call a shortened line out. They're calling a four man line out. We've got Big Keen Walsh, the captain loitering with intent out of first receiver position, loud half position. Here we go, here he comes. Go on, Keen. It's well tackled, just shy of the 22. Ball recycled. Byrne goes down the left. Out to Ross O'Sullivan. Good rock clear outs by Bechtoff. Looked offside there, but he's leaving it go. Keep going, trucking it up. We're into their 22. Burn. Out to Tom Reynolds. Out to Dara Keane. He cuts back inside. He's still going. He's five metres out. He's four. He's out. He's, out. He's, out. He's just shy of the line. He's just shy of the line. Recycle, recycle. Space is out wide. Got a winger here, Colin Light, and nobody near him. Here we go. It's in. It's a try. Bechtov, try 15, you McDowell, in injury time. Bechtov win the league. Roy of the Rovers, tough here in home, Patrick. Fantastic play by Bechtov. Jesus, my nerves are shot. Okay, you can hear Skipper Keane Walsh. You can see why he's Skipper. He's a lot calmer than I am. He's telling the team there's one receive to come. They're going to be allowed to kick off no matter what happens with the conversion. 
Ashburn get one last chance. So you can hear him shouting to the team, use your heads, one phase, reception, ball off the pitch. Here we go, David Byrne to add the extras. Concentration, lads. He's curled that in nicely, it's true, it's in! Excellent kick! Back to 18, Ashburn 15. It's the last kick of the game. One restart, get the ball off the pitch, and we win. Bechtov lead by three, we're in injury time. Ashburn heads are down, body language not great. Now men, you will have practiced this over and over and over again on Friday nights. Long restart. Well taken by Keane Walsh, hint of a knock on. Ref has let it go. Just trucking it up. Still trucking it up, number three, Harry Donahue. Obviously there's more time than one restart, they're doing this on purpose. Can we get the ball off the pitch now, please? Half number 10, David Burns screaming for the ball. Ball is kicked out. The ref blows his whistle. This match is over. We have new Leinster League under 17 Division 1A finalists and winners. Bective Rangers. Glory, glory, Bective Rangers. We will. Oh, that's just a fantastic finish, Chuck. Great, great determination by the lads. The game looked lost and everything, and we came back. We scored a, a brilliant try down there, and then just finished or closed out the game pretty well. Done to all the players, and well done to all the coaches, Kieran, Tony, and all the lads. Great day for Beckstaff. Well done, lads. Well done. Very, very impressive. As the late great Phil Murphy, formerly of this parish, would say, all the lads played well. There is great excitement here. Listen, these boys, right, there's 23 of them in the squad today. Let me say this to you, lads. Today, you are the best player in your position, in your age group, to go out and play a league final. Represent yourselves, represent your families, represent your club. And I'd like to say, on behalf of the comms team, and we're Joe Nobody's in this club, but we respect what you have done. You have now gained back of immortality, lads. Your picture framed on the wall in the clubhouse, immortality forevermore. I mean, you guys are old has-beens with shot knees and riddled with arthritis and no hair like me and grumpy old men. You'll walk into that club, you'll look at your photo on the wall and you'll go, I did that. I'm bursting with pride for these kids. Great bunch of lads, absolutely fantastic. Your club is very, very proud of you. And so they should be. That's a fantastic win, lads. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, well done. Good guy. Did you have someone playing? What was they for? Four. Yeah. Big boy. <laughs> well done, well done. He's not old enough to have a pint yet. <laughs> with, his par with his parents. With his parents in a pot. I'd love to take that. <laughs> <laughs> glory, glory, back to Rangers and to all the coaching crew. The coaching crew will make it happen, and I know I didn't mention Louis, Louis McGee Jr., who's also line-out specialist, been helping out this squad over the last few weeks as well, but great thanks, and thank you for your service to Kieran Walshy Walsh, to Tony O'Brien, to Rudolph O'Kane, to Frank Carr, to Dave O'Loughlin, and also indeed to Liam Casey, who coached this, these bunch of kids over the years with the lads is great. You guys are the future of this club. And for you to go out and snatch victory from the jaws of defeat by keeping calm, going through the process, trusting yourselves. Great try in the end. Look, one person scores a try, but tries are created by teams. Great try at the end. Lucky man to cross the line is Hugh McDonnell. He also put in a Roy of the Rovers tackle on the halfway line in the first half. So, well done Hugh, well done Bechtov, well done Keen Walsh, leading from the front. Well done lads, absolutely fantastic stuff.
looks like you're going to go over and I'll shoot from here. Hmm? I'll yeah. just shoot it from here, the presentation, right? But when you try and get a gap, I'll just show you, look. Oh, right here. Are, where are you? I need Move you. Camera. Yeah, I'm going to hit here, right? So I need you. Right. Where are they going to do it right now? Should I stay there? Yeah. Well, that's in the view. Joined by winning coach Walshie, please don't swear you're live on Back to Rangers TV. How does that feel? Uh, unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, really, really hard fought win. Um, yeah, it wasn't looking good with a couple of minutes to go there, but the spirit, determination, the guts the lads showed, never, ever, ever gave up and then scored a great try, great try to win it. But yeah, I, mean, I think you said it in your rousing speech before under your email or your, your message out to everyone. I played a good bit of rugby invective and yeah, lost a few cups and never won anything. And it's fantastic for these lads to come and do it and just delighted to be part of it. And they're a phenomenal bunch of young fellas and really, really well done. They are a good bunch of young fellas and they're a credit to yourself and to Tony and to Louis and everybody else, Rudolph, Frank, am I missing anybody I should be mentioning here in the yeah, background team? Yeah, we have Dohi here as well uh, with us today and, and uh, Liam Casey is uh, skiing somewhere in Norway, had a bit of a tough time there with his health and uh, delighted that he's able to do that and he's been with us as well. So yeah, no, we've, we've, uh, we've been looked after really well by Bechtel, I have to say, from Emmett and Birch and everybody as well and, and uh, yeah, the lads are well looked after and, and uh, we're, we're happy to be coaching them. There'll be a few points not amongst the team because they're underage, but there'll be a few points tonight amongst the coach and staff and there won't be a quiche baked in Donnybrook for a month. We're back to the coaches. <laughs> points indeed, points indeed. Well done, Walshie, well done. <laughs> Kian, you're live on Bechtiv TV, please don't swear. Uh, a great you dug it out in the end right Jesus you had the heart sideways and it's literally an injury time you went over you backed yourselves you cut out the penalties in the second half yeah. what do you say to the guys at half time just we were giving away too many penalties and then we had to stop that and get the ref on our side because like you could see that, that is, when we stopped giving away penalties we got a uh, field position we just kept going kept going forwards I saw you working the ref yourself at the, in yeah. the second half you were he, chatting he, to he him. allowed you to talk to him he was a decent ref like. and then, yeah we just kept backing ourselves because we got there so many times we, we just didn't score and then last play Dara breaks the line and uh, Hugh scores so it's just great moment great life. feeling listen as I said during the week there's plenty of us old farts haven't won jack in Bechtov in our lives you guys are only starting out in your Bechtov career and you've now reached Bechtov immortality mate remember I showed you on Thursday night yeah. Friday night I have the same picture on the wall that's coming this club is so proud of you guys no idea it's great no it's idea great. well done buddy cheers thank you <coughs>
Jesus, commentators getting emotional. group of smiling faces on 16 year old lads absolutely brilliant for them we're so proud of them And our family's proud. It's great to see both. For all this, for Dara Connor. Donnie Keown. Fabian. PJ O'Reilly. Ross Odia. Shane Andrews. Zach Dennehy. Dara McGuinness. Derek Healy. Enoch Emmanuel. Kyle White. Luke Hanley. Mark Quinn. Sean Mitchell. Harry Begg. Johnny Dillon. Ewan McKay.
Uh, I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank Beckett for a great game. Uh, well, he's deserve it. So hopefully he's push on in the rest of your season and have a good season. Um. We think about without them, um, we wouldn't have any rugby. So thanks. I call out the players. Uh, Hugh McDonald. <laughs> Colin Lydon. Dara Keane. Uh, Daniel McDade. Max Sheridan. Olivia Brown. Ross O'Sullivan. I'll see you. Uh, Luke Lockery. Harry Dunhu. Tom Reynolds, uh, Andrew Riley. I love Andrew. Uh, Jack Nugent. Uh, Simon McCain. Josh O'Carroll. And Josh Lee. David Quinn. Yeah. On Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to follow, uh, thank Ashburn first for a great game. Go around to the last minute, like. And clap, that's come on. <laughs> Safe. Uh, I'd like to thank Scaries for hosting it. Thank you. Please. Uh, I'd like to thank Lencer Branch for providing the fixtures for us. Yeah. And referee. <laughs> I'd like to thank the referee, Paul. Great job today. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the lads as well. Great game. Yay! Especially Dara Keane for flying back from France for this game. Yay! Fair play to him. Yay! And I'd like to thank the coaches as well. Great job they've done all year. So, and I'd like to thank Bective as a club for bringing uh, Chuck down and bringing the camera and just everyone coming down and then the supporters. So thank you. Happy to do it.
Folks, don't know if I'm still really, really 